from a dozen names of other scientists who are doing this work and um, who really need to um, to make it all work for him. All right, his research only makes sense because it's connected up to that of others. And of course, one of the things we're looking at um, in the Olay Connected Learning Olay with the National Writing Project and others are is what is a connected learner and Chris Sloan has asked what's a connected researcher and this guy is way connected so having said that it's kind of obvious all of his connections when he describes his interests um but um But it's all obviously a social process. And what would be absurd? And look, the kind of technology he uses to stay connected, to to observe the birds, to, to do his work is fascinating and wonderful. And he mentions it once in a while. But that's not what makes him a connected educator. That's just the tools that allow him to do it. Now, what makes him a connected educator is his thinking depends on other people's thinking. Like, he can do all the detailed studies he wants to in Ithaca, but but that doesn't spread out to where they're migrating, migrating from and they don't get a pattern over time of that then it doesn't make much sense at all. so I don't know where to go with that metaphor it's not a metaphor totally it's just a, an example of a connected educator um, a connected researcher really <coughs> So, that's some of what I did today. Also, I got Jose connected to the robotics project, which I'm excited to see him do. I hope he follows through. It's a tough road he has to figure out here in the next few months. You know, on some level, he knows we know that he's just not going to make it. He has too many classes that he's failed in the past. And I failed because he just didn't show up. He's 19 years old. Probably not going to get accepted um, at another transfer school. Although, yeah, hey. And he's trying to consider, can I put enough hours in? And it's not that you need hours to finish, but you need hours to do the work. Can I put enough hours in at school to give me the diploma I need to eventually be able to open what I dreamed to open, which is a, you know, an auto shop. So, and I have Monica in my head now when I'm talking. I hear her saying that kids should be allowed to, pers allowed to pursue their dreams. I know she's not responsible, I'm not responsible for him having 11 classes to finish by June to get a diploma which will allow him to follow his dreams and you know it's his own decision to have not even spent a lot of time in school this last fall to 
be working at a pizza place which gives him the money he needs to have insurance for his car <coughs> so if he comes to school he won't be able to have his car anymore it's a rough decision to make for a young man I don't know. No, it's obvious what he should do on some level, but another little not so obvious because there's no guarantees in any direction. So how do you say to a young man like that, follow your dream? I tried to. I, you know, I think it's important that he is clear about what his dream is. Now, he can't really follow that dream after a certain point if he's not the Um So, that's tricky. It's not tricky, it's horrible in some level, but reality. That's a mess out here. Hey, some of the Things I'm thinking about. Getting back to, and I'll finish with this because I keep circling around it. But so that happens, day, and maybe I could get him involved in building bird cages, uh, bird nests, nest, box nests. Um, and he'd be interested in the building part of it, even in the thinking about nature and. His place, his place in the Bronx, but uh, and one of the goals that uh, Nick, the science teacher, mentioned was that he would love for kids to come away from this project also understanding better what scientists do, and uh, I, I like that idea too. And more of it, it's like, not so much what they do, but that it's cool. <laughs> and, uh, they value this thing. <coughs> um, so, yeah. So, one of the things I can do is have them read some of these interest pages and try to figure out what these people do. And, uh, and hopefully, by doing that, they'll kind of understand how they're, uh, yeah, going out and writing down how many birds you see in a box that you've created, a nest box that you've created, and then recording that data somewhere, and then aggregating it with lots of other people making those connections, that, that process of science is important and fun and really cool. Uh, so. Yeah. It also brings about a certain kinds of literacy, kinds of reading and writing that uh, I might not otherwise be doing. <coughs> so, those are some of the goals. I think I'll give you a break. Um, pull over here and turn this guy off. Thanks for listening.